family. It's been a while, I know. <sighs> anyway, life happened, I'm back. And today I'm just going to show you a very short video um, of one of the things I think that just adds a little something special to your life. You know, at home, uh, when you feel like you just want to relax and enjoy yourself, you know, when you walk into your home, you know, I remember Oprah said one time, you know, when you walk into your house, it should like, you know, welcome you. And how do I do that? Well, one of the ways I do that, one of the many ways I do that, other than having the Spirit of the Lord here, welcoming the Holy Spirit at all times, uh, one of the things I do is I, you can see it right here, see that? All right, one, we got one, and two. <laughs> I grow plants, guys. I am a bit of a plantaholic. I have loved plants from as long as I rec uh, can recall. You know, when I was a kid, I grew up in the northern part of uh, Grenada, and it's very um, tropical, very jungleish, right? So I just grew up loving plants. So one of the things I do is I make sure that I always have lots of beautiful plants around me in the home at all times, year-round. So I grow orchids. I grow um, just regular foliage plants, tropical foliage plants. Guys, if I can grow it, I will. Okay? I will try anything one time. Within reason, of course. Price being number one. Because some of these indoor plants can be very expensive. But I'll share with you guys today what I do um, just to add a little bit of Eden to my home. Okay? So, one sec. Okay, guys. Where should we begin? Okay. So, over here, as you can see, I showed you before. I have two plants, um, and this is just on my, you know, little console under my television, which I have recently hung on the wall. <laughs> Proud of myself on that one, guys. Nice to do something on your own. Um, yeah, so right here, because it's the Christmas season, I've got the, you know, beautiful and very common but gorgeous amaryllis um, bulb with two spikes. Um... I don't know what color it is. I like a good surprise when it comes to plants. So I just picked it up and it's just growing by leaps and bounds every day. Can't wait to see what it is. It's very easy to take care of. You just water it when it's um, dry. And that's about it really for now. Next to it, my new Pride and Joy, my new baby. This is an Oncidium Orchid. I just repotted it yesterday and I had to be creative guys because um, this plant is pretty wide. I don't know if you can tell but... I'll try and turn it a little bit for you. It's a pretty wide orchid. It's pretty big, okay? And um, for any uh, one of you uh, who know anything about orchids, they do not grow in dirt. They grow on trees or on rocks. Very few of them, like the lady slipper, you know, uh, they grow in the um, in the soil. But most orchids grow on trees. So they're ep ep I can never say that word. They're epiphytic, <laughs> meaning they don't need to be in the ground at all. As a matter of fact, they hate it. They would die if you buried them in the ground at all. So I had to be a little bit creative and I literally went and got, check this out guys, this is what you call creativity. Couldn't get a clear orchid pot because I really like the clear pots because you can see the roots so you can tell how healthy the plant is because the key to orchids guys is to make sure their roots stay absolutely healthy. So I planted it in a um, salad bowl I got from Dollarama, the dollar store. I cut out holes in it and I drilled underneath it so this orchid has perfect drainage. And they're uh, both sitting over uh, a tray pebble which is filled with beautiful river stones and there's little water in there and that uh, adds humidity to the environment so that they are happy because, uh, you know, your, your tropicals, including orchids, they do not really like dry air. Next to that, I've got a my favorite. I, I love this plant. It's just, well, I say they're my favorite because they're all my favorite. But this is um, a calathea, and it is just beautiful because, as you can see, the leaves have this amazing pattern on them, right? But then when you look underneath, it is a gorgeous burgundy red co uh, color. And the cool thing about this plant, guys, the really cool thing about this plant is that at night, all the leaves actually fold up together. On its own it's the coolest thing and then in the morning when the Sun comes out it just opens up like that so some people call this the prayer plant because it does look like it's you know clasping his it, clasping his hands uh, together at night to pray <laughs> it's really cool and again I have it in a tree pebble 
Remember, dry air, not your tropical plants friend. Think about it, they grow in tropical jungles. Next to that, I have the common but beautiful um, parlor palm growing. And uh, guys, I'm on a very tight budget, like ridiculously tight. So I buy these things when they're tiny. And plus, I take a lot of satisfaction growing things, um, you know, to, to maturity on my own, you know. So this is like my little, I call it relaxation area, guys. As you can see, I fill it with beautiful things. Um, <laughs> you guys have seen my uh, beautiful uh, beta um, before. She is on this stand with all the plants. Say hello, Miss Beta. You're in camera. <laughs> I love this fish, guys. I've had her for over two years now. And of course, here I remind myself at all times that the Lord is my shepherd. Very important. So if we go over here to another corner, here I have the only fake plant, which in the future, I'll probably get rid of it because um, where I used to live, it was very shady and I couldn't grow uh, an actual tree. So I had this fake plant, but it looks good, but it's fake. But over here, just because, you know, I love my live plants, I have my little corner garden, I call it. It's just a little three-tier plant stand from Ikea. It's pretty cheap, <laughs> but it does the job, okay? Um, here, I've got a um, anthurium which I just removed all the old blooms, so it's looking a little plain, but you know, anthuriums, they grow um, gorgeous pink, red, white, you know, um, flowers. And here I have, um, I'm forgetting the name of this one, guys. When I bought it, it didn't even have a label. Totally forgot the name. Easy to grow, though. If, you're, if I remember, I'll put the uh, name in, uh, on the screen or uh, in the description box for you. And here, I'm sure you guys have seen these before in stores, anywhere, they're very common. These is, this is a Phalaenopsis orchid or a fowl or otherwise known as a butterfly orchid. It's not in bloom yet, but I'm hoping it'll bloom this year. I've had this one for about three going on four years, so it's been with me a long time, and I love this plant. I just repotted it into another, um, what I like to call homemade pot. I got a bowl and you know, container, <laughs> drilled holes all over it, and I wanted it to be clear glass, um, uh, transparent again so I could see the roots. As you can see, this orchid has lots of beautiful aerial roots, and um, if you have an orchid and you see it sending roots out of the pot, number one, do not cut the roots off. Orchids are air plants. They need, um, they need the, the, the roots to breathe and to photosynthesize, especially fast. They, they, their roots actually love the sunshine. And um, don't plant it in dirt again, right? So right now this one's potted in some, uh, a combination of um, bark, bark chips, uh, orchid mix, right? And some um, sphagnum moss on top to help uh, hold in the moisture. Next to that, this is a little cutting from a friend of mine that I took. Um, it's growing, but we'll see what happens. I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> but guys, I'll grow anything. And here is one of my beauties. This is a gigantic Phalaenopsis. She's just finished blooming. She makes amazing um, pink flowers. Like huge all the way up here, guys. But she's um, got another, she's made another orchid. She's cloned herself right there. I'm just going to leave it attached for now. But she's growing. As you can see, there's a new leaf in the middle. And she's doing well, but it does need repotting because I'll show you guys. Look at that. It is so crowded in this pot. But you can see her gorgeous green roots all over the place. That is what you want to see. But you can also see some of the roots are looking a little brown and withered. You know, she really needs new um, potting mix. And of course, I have an aloe vera. If you cut yourself, I don't grow this plant because I think it's beautiful. I just grow this plant because it's useful for cuts and stuff like that. And of course, we have the usual, um, I don't know why I always forget its name. It'll come to me. <laughs> but anyway, it's growing. This is a cutting I took. It wasn't my plan. I just got a cutting from somebody, someone. And um, it's finally decided to grow. I'm not sure why it wasn't before, but now it is. And we go higher up, guys. Like I said, I hope you can see this. Can you see that? Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see if I can get a better view. Okay. This is my orchid, another orchid, 
which I have mounted on a piece of wood, uh, specifically cork bark, okay? And as you can see, this orchid is happy as ever. This orchid was suffering from root rot, the dreaded root rot in the pot that it was in before. And I thought, oh my goodness, this poor orchid's going to die, you know. It had a couple of roots, and I figured, you know what, I've got to do something. Guys, this is our orchids, Phalaenopsis, you know, uh, especially, would grow in the wild. They would grow on a tree. So picture this piece of bark as a full-on tree. This is how the orchid would exist. I water it every day. It's happy. I try to give, uh, you know, I spritz it sometimes. But look at those beautiful, healthy pendulum leaves, you know, pendulous leaves, I should say. So we'll see. I'm hoping it'll bloom again next year. It's already finished blooming for the year in the pot that it was in. Next to that, guys, uh, one of my latest projects is to create, already done, I created an air plant garden, okay? Just some pebbles, some dried moss, and some air plants, three of them. There's one about to bloom. You can see the flower spike right there. And I was being creative, so in order to hang them, what did I do? I created my own rope out of wire and uh, beads. As you can see, I just figured, you know what? Make it beautiful. Guys, always make whatever you're doing beautiful, you know. God loves beauty, so should you. You know, I mean, look at the world he's created. He created this gorgeous world for us to live in. And I think it's just a natural part of, hum you know, the human spirit to just want to create something beautiful. And so do the same indoors, you know, get some plants, bring the outdoors in, as they say. And guys, it also adds oxygen to your living space. It makes you feel good when I wake up in the morning and I just, you know, come over here by the window. And I just sit sometimes in total silence and I just look at these beautiful plants that I'm surrounded by. And I feel amazing, right? I feel amazing. So that's it, guys. Quick video for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to show me, you know, let me know what your favorite uh, things to do uh, are, you know, indoors to cheer yourself on. And remember, guys, God loves you. Truly, he does, okay? I love you. And don't forget, love each other and love yourself because God loved you first. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And don't forget, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you already haven't done so. And uh, maybe I'll make a video on how I repot the Phalaenopsis I just showed you because that orchid uh, seriously needs some repotting. All right. Bye-bye, guys.